Five minutes later, the door opens and all three of them come in crying their eyes out. <laughs> Before they get into their seats, I raise my right arm, point to the door, and say the magic words. Guidance, counselor, now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I truly like these kids here on stage tonight, and I will remember them for their smiles. I remember where they all sat five years ago. I remember them coming in and saying, hey, Mr. Fox, what's up? And smiling. And guess what? I was smiling back. I enjoyed that year with them. I will always remember the rabbit running around the room, nibbling on their shoelaces. The birds were flying around the room. There were students dissecting, insect collecting, students digging soil pits. It was a class they will never forget. It is a class I will never forget. And I would like to take this time, ladies and gentlemen, to look at this class one more time before they disperse into the universe. Graduating class of 2008, you have to grab the horns of life. You have to grab life by the horns. There are a thousand doors of opportunity in front of you right now. You have to pick a few doors to walk through. You got to make sure that you walk through the doors that make you smile. This is your time. It is no time to back down. It is no time to get lazy. You gotta grab the horns of life. You gotta grab life by the horns and you must move on. Now half of you are going away to college, I think. <laughs> and you are going to have the times of your lives. But nobody in the audience tonight wants to hear next May these words. I flunked out. I flunked out of college, Mr. Fox. I couldn't make my 8 o'clock classes. I couldn't get up in the morning. I spent too much time at the fraternity house instead of the house of books called the library. No one wants to hear these words I flunked out. Not Miss Reynolds at the bank, not Mr. Putnam down at the store, not Mrs. Lemire at the real estate office, not Mr. Brown down at the station, not all the fine people in Lineboro. And definitely not these fine teachers over here to my left. Oh, we're not going to be mad at you, class of 2008. Your mothers and fathers are going to be mad. All these people that I mentioned aren't going to be mad. We're going to be much more than that. We're going to be disappointed. The words lay heavy on your soul when you think about it. Disappointed. Weighs heavy on a person's mind. You got to grab the horns of life. You got to grab life by the horns. You got to dig your heels in and say, no matter what happens, I'm not going to flunk out. You gotta spend the extra three hours in the library. You gotta go up to the professor's office and you gotta knock on his door. You gotta say, my name is Mr. Tremblay, my name is Ms. Morse, my name is Mr. Rogers. And I'm more than a social security number. 
I have a face that goes with that number. And guess what? Every time that I have a problem, I'm going to be knocking on your door. And you know what that professor is going to do? I didn't think so. <laughs> the same thing I did five years ago. He's going to sit down and smile and say, what do we have here? You got to grab the horns of life. <laughs> you got to grab life by the horns. There are a thousand doors of opportunity that lie before you. Pick the one that's going to make you smile. Michael Ducharme, can you come up to the podium, please? What's up, brother? Michael, you are now the keeper of the horns. <laughs> the protector of the horns. In years to come, some of your classmates might lose grip of the horns of life. They might be down and out. They might not be grabbing life by the horns. It is your job, Michael, to go to them all and tell them to get off their butts and grab the horns of life. You are the safekeeper of the horns, Michael. Before I step off the stage tonight, I think a round of applause they deserve for two people who have guided them. Without their guidance, they wouldn't know which end of the bull had the horns. <laughs> I think they deserve a round of applause for their years of work with these students, their class advisors, Mr. Drink and Mrs. Scholager. <laughs> Will you please stand up, please? Thank you very much.